Today I'm going to share with you information I have about a pedestrian suspension bridge and boathouse that once existed on Otter Creek near North Terre Haute, Indiana. And on the screen you can see the bridge and boathouse. This is an old postcard dated uh, 1907. And from what I can determine, the bridge was probably built in 1905 and lost in 1913. So it only stood a short time over Otter Creek and... Um, in this video, I'll show the precise location where these structures stood, as well as some other old postcards, and even have a little video that will show part of the remaining cable system that still exists on the site today. So let's begin by going into Google Earth, where we can pinpoint the exact location where the bridge once stood. Now, if you're not familiar with the area, Terre Haute is about 60 miles southwest of Indianapolis. So we're zoomed in on Terre Haute. And uh, we want to go to North Terre Haute, which is about six or seven miles northeast, north northeast of Terre Haute. Um, hold on. Okay, back when the bridge and boathouse stood, North Terre Haute was known as Ellsworth. And back then, Ellsworth had an inner urban line that ran from Terre Haute up Lafayette Avenue, which is this kind of diagonal road, uh, known as Lafayette Avenue today. Uh, there was a stop on the interurban at Park Avenue and Lafayette Avenue um, right here. And somewhere in the 1900s, I've read that there was actually a 20-passenger bus which would go from the interurban line to where the bridge and boathouse once stood. And if you look to the east, <clears throat> you'll see this um, green carpeted area. This is Forest Park. It was known as Forest Park then. It's known as Forest Park today. Um, it is a private park today. However, back in the late 1800s, early 1900s, it was a major amusement park um, attraction area. So that is why the bridge stands or once stood in, or, um, in Forest Park. So let's zoom in on um, Forest Park area. And I'll help pinpoint where the bridge stood. <clears throat> and up here, you just see the uh, curve of uh, the Rosedale Pavement, Park Avenue. Right here is uh, the Otter Creek Mill Dam. The Markle Mill once stood right there at the base of the dam. We have the Big Four Railroad. If you follow Otter Creek, this is Otter Creek upstream to a point right here is where the suspension bridge and boathouse once stood. Um, I can zoom in a little more. Now you can't quite see it in this photo here on Google Earth but there uh, today there is an old uh, fire pit uh, that was constructed most likely in 1938 when Tony Holman owned the property. Uh, and from that fire pit, if you just walk a little bit into the woods, uh, you can find some remains of the bridge that I'm going to show you next. And here you go, the actual bridge cable anchors as they looked when I shot this video in the spring of 2018. Again, these are located on the south side of the creek just a short distance from the fire pit. As you can see, they are in great condition, haven't survived well over 110 years now. Um, if you've ever been to the pedestrian suspension bridge in nearby Turkey Run State Park, you may have noticed similar anchors, very much like the ones we have here. Unfortunately, here at Otter Creek on For in Forest Park, other than a few larger chunks of concrete, these anchor rods are the only physical remains of the bridge and boathouse today. Here is one of my favorite photos of the bridge. It is postmarked 1911, and it's an unusual card in that it measures 2 by 6 inches. Most standard postcards measure 3.5 by 5 inches. This photo is looking upstream or eastward, so the mill dam would be behind us in the picture. Note in the photo many of the folks on the bridge, the many boats along the shore, and the boathouse along the right bank. And a little later, I'm going to end this with um, just some miscellaneous photos that were taken in the vicinity of the bridge. But I want you to 
look closely at the white the white area upstream from the bridge and note that that is an eroded cliffside. You will see that in um, at least three of the photos I've got coming up. And there's a few others taken on the pathways opposite side of the creek. There's also another one taken from the bridge itself looking downstream. So what happened to the bridge? My best guess is the bridge was lost in the Great Flood of 1913. Severe weather is very well documented to have hit Indiana during March of that year. In fact, 21 people lost their lives in the Terre Haute area to a tornado and the flood of that month and year. The Terre Haute tornado tracked about four miles south of Forest Park. Also, on March 28, 1913, the Wabash River, which runs through Terre Haute and just west of Forest Park, reached a record at that time of 31 feet, 10.5 inches. I've never been able to find documentation, but I believe it's highly likely the 1913 flood is what claimed the bridge and boathouse. If true, these structures only stood in Forest Park for seven years and, of course, were never rebuilt. So there you have it, the Forest Park Pedestrian Suspension Bridge and Boathouse.